This project is sponsored by Altium Designer, which is one of the best PCB design software in the world. By using the software, you can make circuit diagrams very easily. Also, you can design your own professional PCBs. Altium is now included with Altium 365 in one license. With Altium 365, you can share your designs on the web and get feedback to your designs. Visit Octopart.com as a best electronic component site. Octopart gives you the most affordable data by specifications, data sheets, CAD models, etc. Hello, an induction heater is a device that uses electromagnetic induction to heat objects. It consists of a coil of wire through which a high frequency alternating current is paced and this coil generates a magnetic field around it. When a conductive material is placed within this magnetic field, it induces the electric currents, known as eddy currents, within the material. These eddy currents generate heat due to the electrical resistance in the material, causing it to become hot. These days I received this device as a gift from a friend who is a dentist by profession because it had been sitting in his garage for several years and he had not used it. I immediately decided to study it in more detail so that it could find some application for it. Analyzing the outside it is most likely an induction heater especially considering this copper coil made of a pipe with a diameter of 0.7 mm. But to look inside I first have to remove these cooling fans. Now the PCB is clearly visible and so we can start the analysis. Uh, the device contains a very small number of components including 6 power MOSFETs type IRFP260 mounted on a heat sinks, uh, several high quality MK, MKP capacitors connected in combination, next several fast and zener diodes, some resistors and two large chopper coils. Here you can see uh, that the device is powered with a voltage of uh, 48 volts and a current of up to 50 amperes, which by simple multiplication we can calculate that it is a device with a power of 2500 watts or 2.5 kilowatts. And so according to the components, it is not at all difficult to, to conclude that it is a standard zero voltage switching ZVS driver that is used to drive high frequency resonant converters, typically for applications like induction heating, power suppliers and ballast lighting. And according to the size and shape of the coil we can conclude that it is an induction heater with high power. The MOSFETs are interconnected in two groups, each of three in parallel connections so that they can withstand a higher current. Now I will put the fans back in place and test the unit. And as you can imagine it is very difficult to find a power supply with these features. Nowadays switching mode power supplies are widespread but this is a special case where extremely high currents flow. In such conditions uh, this power supply is switching often experience instability during operation, change in characteristics and even damage to the power supply. Fortunately I had two powerful transformers with a power of 1500 watts each and they have a secondary voltage of 70 volt, volts, 17 volts each. These are transformers taken out of an old failed UPS units. As you can see I connected the primaries in parallel and the secondary windings in series. So at the output I got an AC voltage of 34, uh, 34 volts, 3000 watts. This is exactly, exactly what I need because after rectifying and filtering the alternating voltage I get 45 volts DC voltage under load. As a rectifier I use a Gretz type K P KBPC5010 designed for voltages 
up voltage up to 1000 volts and current of 50 amperes and this mounted on a heatsink. Next is a filter of several electrolytic capacitors with a total value of 4000 microfarads. For safety I also installed an automatic fuse initially with a value of 20 amps and to make the, uh, the connections clearer I made simple wiring diagram. These are transformers, primary windings, secondary windings, grads, uh, capacitor, fuse and output.
And finally a short conclusion, the device is solidly made and for a power up to 1.2 kW cooling fans are not needed at all. I actually didn't use the fans during testing. This device is sold online for a price of about $100 which is actually some real amount. A much bigger problem is the power supply for it, so if you don't have an alternative like in my case, the cost of the power supply would several times exceed the price of the device itself. Uh, this induction heater can be used with graphite uh, crucible for smelting gold, silver, copper, aluminum and other metals. It can also be used to generate high voltage using a flyback, flyback transformer, wireless power transfer Tesla transformer and other experiments that I will describe in some of my next videos.